The final game of the preliminary round of the 2024 World Junior Hockey Championship brings together Canada and Germany. Good. So let's go. The Finnish referee, a man of few words, as you might expect. Oh, big hit. And it's going to be a penalty on Connor Geeky. Seconds into the game, Geeky knocks down Samuel Schindler. And this will be a penalty to Canada. 11 seconds in. Right when impact's made, does he hit him in the head? Yes. Yes, with his shoulder going right through the center of the body. Now again, the mantra now, of the IHF is there's no such thing as a legal check to the right. head. After video review, Team Canada, number 28, major and game misconduct penalty for checking to the head. So Geeky is gone 11 seconds into the game. And now Lutz with it. Lutz slides that back to Sin. In for Lutz, walks it in, shoots, scores! Julian Lutz, power play goal, and Germany has grabbed the lead. Simple play off the half wall. He walks to it, and a good screen in front from Beaker. And snaps it right past Rousseau. Furlong can't quite line up with the stick to block the far side of the net. Lutz takes it far side, blocker side on Russo just inside the post. Look at the screen. Russo's got to lean left, lean left, puck goes right. Tougher save to make. Bank back down, so Canada down to 11 forwards here. As Celebrini moves it across the line, Celebrini in, shoot, scores! Macklin Celebrini strikes back, and the game is tied at one. I don't think of him as maybe having that heavy a shot. Think again. Whew. Quickly gets it away. Bittner waves at it as goes right by. And when Canada needs something to happen, they turn to Celebrini, and he makes it. Canada's leading point getter now has his seven. And now that clearing attempt knocked down by Jaeger. In comes Braden Jaeger. Throws it back in front. That was blocked by a diving member. Picked up by Raykoff again. Centers it. Played back across. Back in, back across. Oh, oh he's still Matejuk shoots it. Did Bittner get a piece of that? I think it was Kester. Canada almost took the lead here. What a save by Roman Kester, who dives across and takes one away. Matejuk, a wide open net, oh. and the two pad stack. Bill Ranford is smiling somewhere. Playing his third world junior for the Germans. Knocked on that clearing attempt again. Finally, Minton back on it. 25 seconds to go in the power play. In comes Fraser Minton. Feeds it back across. Drop back for Danielson. Feeds it back, and the shot score! A German player down at the other end, but Braden Jaeger has the power play goal, and Canada has its first lead. He gets a high stick here from Minton. Absolutely. That's a missed call. Should have been a penalty, maybe a four minute. And they go the other way, and some nice passing ends up with Jaeger. Give and go. Nobody there to take away the empty net on that one. As Germany was down a man. The referees are having a conversation about this now. And there's no question it's a missed call, but I don't know if there's anything to do about it. And Canada, a very fortunate break. And Alamaro up for Patra. In along with Rakoff. Oh. Patra spins back. It's Jerry. The penalty coming out of Germany. As Patra is down, but taken down by Luca Hoff. Patra's tired. So he's going to try to stop up. And as he stops up, oh my. Dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. How, oh, oh, wow. Now, Hoff is accelerating in there, thinking Patra's going to go down the wall and he's going to finish him. Patra stops, spins. Oh, the head right off the dasher almost. Germany, number 18, two minutes for boarding. <laughs> Crosses Lutz. He bobbled it for a moment. It's banked to the line, but not out by Matejcha. Weber for Lutz. Back to Weber. Plays it back. Kester shoots, scores! <laughs> Roman Kester, a power play goal. The game is tied at two. And just like Lutz's goal on the other side, 
Vicker right in front of the net, making Russo work. Russo looks left, and he just he can't spot it. Lamoureux's job is to take the far side of the net away. Not the short side. He's that the far side. He drifts too far outside, giving up the far side. Yeah, it's just, usually they don't make a change. It must have been a bad cut in the laces. Rakoff centers it, tipped on goal by Padre, jams away at it. Bittner down, but somehow kept that puck out. It was right on the goal line on his pad. Bittner busy around his feet. He's got this one trapped under his feet, but he's not sure where it is, so when he looks for it, he kicks it out. <laughs> That's how close it was sealed now. Team Canada knew where it was, trying to poke it loose. Owen back. Plays it ahead for Rakoff. Carson Rakoff feeds it back, back scores! Rakoff to back to the back of the net, and Canada's back on top. Beck starts it with the lateral pass, Rakoff on the pivot, and it's wide open on the back door. As Beck keeps his feet moving, but it's all in that pivot, blown right by Meyer, and draws everyone towards him with his eyes and his stick, and kicks it over to Beck for the empty netter. Rakoff, beautiful pass to get Canada the lead on Beck's goal. Knocked down by Celebrini. Feeds it back in front to Dumais with a shot. He clipped the German player with a stick. There's a penalty coming to Canada. Question is, does he touch the puck? Because the follow That's through in a shot is not a penalty. It's not a high sticking penalty. Double minor. And I don't think he hit penalty. that puck. Team Canada. Penalty. Team Canada, double minor, high sticking. Gets things set up for Germany. Weber. Back across to Rollinger. Rollinger. For Sump, works it and shoots, scores! Power play goal for Julius Sump, but the game is once again tied. Three shots with traffic in front that have eluded Russo, and this one goes off Danielson's stick. You see the reaction, high slot. Russo's got no chance this evening if he sees it. And he doesn't. He, I mean, he's, he's, the puck is past him. He can look, well, you can see what he's trying to see. Right. Absolutely nothing. Lamoureux. In the way, Bicker doing a great job. Yeah. That puck tipped and went up and over him. And he can't see a thing. Dumais. As they go off escape to Celebrini, who's back out there. Macklin Celebrini. Oh, what a move! Celebrini in! Throw that just wide and a penalty coming out of Germany. Canada backs up power play. Great individual effort. Sells the shot where he's already scored from and drags it through. What an unreal move, Celebrini. Nobody can kill a penalty in this game. Good seam pass, Rakoff finds Patra in the open slot, and Bittner does well to get a save on Patra. And Rakoff making some nice feeds in the third period. Bittner trying to jump at Dume, but last year's Quebec League MVP tucks it home and gives Canada the lead again. On Furlong, he's tired as well. Benosha. Plays that back. Weber, a long shot. That was blocked by Bob. Jaeger, lead pass for Celebrini. Beckman Celebrini in. Bittner's out. Celebrini scores! What a goal by Beckman Celebrini! There's that person we're talking about. Yet they're just first, but he's got the goalie sliding at him. He's got to poke it past him, corral it, and oh yeah, slide it underneath <laughs> on a pretty tight angle. Macklin Celebrini, when you need something to happen, He's always there. Germanetta is empty. That shot from Lutz is blocked. Germany needs two here. Danielson almost picked that off. That was scooped up. Matejak looks ahead. He's got Cowan. And Cowan hit the goal post. Another chance. And Cowan slides that home. And Canada takes a 6 3 lead. And now they'll go to the medal round. Quarterfinal matchup with Czechia after a 6-3 win over Germany. And for Germany, it's a one-game relegation playoff against Norway on Thursday.